All right, David McKinney here from GatewayMMA.com, uh, and we have a special guest in tonight. Justin Edwards uh, will be facing uh, Jorge Lopez uh, this Saturday at UFC Fight Night 25 down in New Orleans. Uh, first off, how are you doing tonight, Justin? Oh, I'm doing too bad. Every time you're on, it's nice and hot down here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it seems to be nice and hot all over the country. Um, so, first off, let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, you came into the UFC uh, with sort of a, a, not necessarily unique, but, um, you know, a different way than a lot of guys come in. You came in uh, through being on the Ultimate Fighter. Can you just talk a little bit about your experience on the Ultimate Fighter and, and actually coming in as an alternate and, uh, um, you know, sort of becoming a, a favorite of, you know, Dana White in the UFC and, and uh, you know, you definitely got their attention on the show. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. When I first came in, I was, you know, a little discouraged, you know, because I, you know, I, you know, I wasn't on the original cast that I was picked. You know, I thought that was good enough. But just one of those things to take, you know, all the top top prospects in the country, and then you know, it was a reality show, so they picked the best person. So it's not always about, you know, who necessarily the best fighters are. They just have a pool of the best fighters, and they pick who they can market or whatever. So you know, I kind of came up a little bit chip on my shoulder, but uh. Right, and let's talk about this is actually your going to be your second official fight uh, inside the UFC. Um, you lost a, a split decision to uh, Clay Harvison um, in, uh, in at the, uh, the Ultimate Fighter 13 finale. Um, can you talk a little bit about that fight and uh, you know why you think you lost that fight? I know it was a really really close fight. Um, you know you you were both you know, close to finishing it in that third round, um, you know, sort of, you, you had the early advantage. Uh, can you just talk a little bit about the, that fight as a whole and, and uh, you know, it was a split decision, so whether you actually thought you lost it or not? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, the Harvison fight, you know, it was kind of a neat fight, but, you know, me and Clay, we, we both, you know, we were friends going into it, and, like, we, we knew what each other was bringing to the table, and it was going to be a good fight. And, uh, you know, we worked on a specific area to try, try to get a good game plan going. Um, I, I think I worked with more takedowns in the first round I wanted to, kind of gas my arms out. Um, so, uh, you know, like I, I get myself the first round, stick around, you know, I, I kind of, you know, look in this productive, you know, I give up to play. You know, the third round is a controversial round for everybody. But, uh, you know, in my opinion, it, it's one of those things. It, it's my job to fight her to either finish the fight or... You know, first two judges will find out that I won the fight. You know, I obviously didn't do enough to, to score that in my, in my favor in their eyes. So, you know, if it was that close to time my fight, you know, there's not like hard feelings for a play or whatever. Um, whether I thought I won or lost, you know, it's up here all day. I didn't do what I was supposed to do. But, you know, it's one of the fights that, you know, I mean, I'm both in the you know, in my opinion, it was a war. You know, it was a hard fought fight. And, you know, I really enjoyed fighting, you know, the way I did. Right, and and it was you know a, a really really good fight. It was an exciting fight, um, and, and honestly, I think you know you won the hearts hearts of of uh, UFC president and and matchmaker uh, Joe Silva over again. You know, just like you did on on the show. Um, but you talked about you know you were good friends with Clay. Is it really you know some guys it, it doesn't affect them, but I know other guys it affects them a lot. Is it hard? You know, going in and, and fighting a guy who you actually like, or, or even more so, a guy who you're actually friends with. No, you, you know, I, I go out there and once I'm in a cage, you know, it, it doesn't really matter who's in front of me. You know, I'm gonna treat you the same whether I dislike you or you know you're one of my good friends. I'm going out there to compete to win. You know, like, like me and Clay, we both you know have our eyes set set on one thing. You know, eventually be, becoming you know, a world champion in the UFC. You know, I'm not going to, you know, harbor any kind of ill will towards him. I want to get to his goal, but that's not going to stop me from, you know, like, throwing harder, you know, I'm not going to take it easy on him. You know, it's a fun point, you know, it's such a good thing to me. Um, right. It's one of the things I've always been in, in, involved in today in sports, and, you know, I, I'm a pretty sore loser, so... I'll do anything I can. <laughs> right, so let's let's transition. Um, now you're going into your what will be your second official UFC fight, uh, fighting uh, Jorge Lopez uh, uh, Saturday night. Um, you know, I know he comes out of uh, Vanderlei Silva's camp. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what you know about him and, and going into this fight? Uh, you know, I, I know he's you know, his history of being a wrestler, like when he was in high school and stuff. Um, I, I 
I know he's mostly a stand up guy, elite time instructor, I think, out of Vanilla's gym. Um, he's really strong, really explosive. Uh, I seem to be really patient, I'm a striker. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm also coming for type of fire, but I mean, it, it'll be exciting. But, you know, I know he's a tough kid, he's young, he's athletic, he's hungry. You know, we both are, you know, that aspect. You know, we have a lot of similarities, but, uh, yeah, I, I think that we watch enough some on the kid to where I think we have an advantage. We, we've kind of picked out some weaknesses on his point. I think that we can explore our game plan. Right, and, and I know, um, obviously, you're a wrestler, so, you know, that's going to be your bread and butter going into any fight. Um, but can you just talk a little bit about your, your training camp going into this fight? I know you train with, with Scott Shealy and he'll actually be in your corner, but are, are you still training with Grigel and all those guys, or it just or was it just uh, the entire camp with uh, Shealy? Yeah, I know, uh, like, the George is like an affiliate school, so I spend you know, half my time up, up to Shealy's channel. I spend half my time down there. I think the giant time is you know, just a little under two hours. You know, and, and I, I, I live in both times, so I base my camp at Shealy's, but, you know, there, there's not a week that goes by where I'm not making all the straight time to Cincinnati, you know. Um, I do a lot of my stand-up work, my bit work, and, you know, a lot of my kickboxing for Shealy, you know, obviously with George's credentials and, like, his black belts down there, and, you know, John Sutton and some of the other guys, uh, you know, I'm, you know, my game's going to improve. And it's also nice to get a good look from both different camps. Like, you know, you, you train with the same people all the time, you kind of learn anything else, and it's kind of hard to, you know, kind of progress with the fire and, you know, learn. So, you know, it's nice having two GMs. I always get different looks of different people coming in. And, you know, I just, I, for, for me, I think it's the best of both, both worlds. So, you know, I, I feel very comfortable coming to this camp. There's not a time even when I'm not fine with that job and training two GMs. So, you know, that's basically my training regimen. Right, and, and that was going to be my next question, actually, you know, the advantage to uh, you know being able to train with two world class camps that are going to have you know two completely different mindsets you know within a, a couple of hours of each other. Um, obviously, that has to give you a huge advantage because you know you're not using uh, the same guys for striking as you are for uh, you know your grappling and, and, and jujitsu. And obviously, your wrestling is going to be there with with your wrestling background. Um, is that something that? Um, you think a lot more fighters would would be uh, in, that it would help a lot more fighters, or um, do you, you know, I, I don't know. What, what's your thought on on your specific training camp? Uh, like, for me, in Ohio, like I, for, for this time we're in, like I, I couldn't ask for like you know a better, better two camps than where I'm at. You know, you can go to, like places like American Top Team, or sometimes you know they may have all that. But you know, every, everything I do stand up. The Sheelys that I, I take down with me, I use down at George's. Everything at George, uh, George, I take back up, you know, with the Sheelys. You know, we kind of just like men the two together, and, you know, and, you know, along with my wrestling, I also got a lot of good wrestlers. And, uh, you know, if I could, I, I recommend it to people. Um, but, I mean, you know, a lot of people can't, you know, afford to drive or, you know, make a I know some people have kids and stuff. But, I mean, there's a lot, I'm always getting like, Good looks from good guys. I got like Matt Brown, you know George, you know Richie Don, Matt Dustin, have all these different looks, all these different areas of expertise. You know, it's I, I couldn't put myself in a better position. I don't think. And, you know, if I, if I could recommend somebody, I would, but you know, I'll go on. that's not feasible for a lot of people. So. Right, and uh, you know, real quick, real quickly before we get out of here, I have to ask you: um, Do you have a prediction or, or a way that you would like to visualize the fight uh, going against uh, Lopez on Saturday? Well, you know, I mean, uh, the majority of my wins, you know, they come pretty early. I, I like to finish guys. I, I like to finish fights. Like you said, you know, when when in the heart, you know, Dana White and Joe they like me because I'm an exciting fight. I'm an exciting fighter. People like to see my fights. You know, you get, you get a guy that's a good wrestler, goes out there, and plays on a guy for three or five rounds, and doesn't do anything. The guy just backs up and rounds. You know, people people want to see that. It's, it's not interesting. Um, so, you know, if I can, I think me and Jorge, uh, we're both exposed to young fighters, both hungry. I think there'll be a lot of fireworks. But, you know, if I can, I'll finish it early. But, you know, I'm more than well prepared to go three rounds with the guy. I know he, he likes to decisions. I think the majority of his wins that he has have been my decision. He likes to draw it out. So, you know, like I said, if I had my rat, you know, I'd finish you out early, but it's not, you know, I'll take a decision, I'll take a win anyway and get it. 
All right, and uh, you know th- that's all the questions I have for you. Um, before we get out of here, anybody you want to thank? Any sponsors you want to mention? Anything like that? Uh, yeah, just any other things about my cameras, everybody. The Sheely guy, Tigers, and whatnot. George and John, man, you know, George and John stuff, and like they've been basically handing up my shit to John there. Um, uh, school of fight, they, they made signature t shirt out for me, you know, made my way through the USC and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, you saw my family and friends, all, all the support I've been getting now. Now everything is trying to get kicked, kicked up. I'm thinking about how to get feedback, you know, a lot of fans all support, you know. Hopefully, do uh, I'm proud, you know. All right, man. Thanks, and uh, you know, good luck on Saturday night. I uh, thank you, Dave. Appreciate it. Yep.